The grand total I made in my first month of being monetized was Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be doing this today. We're gonna be talking all about my YouTube monetization journey and my YouTube channel journey, everything, analytics, and all that good stuff. I think these videos are super interesting. I know it's not stuff I usually talk about, but as someone who's been trying to get to monetization, finally getting to it was such an accomplishment and I'm gonna celebrate it. And if you guys are on your path and trying to get there too, I hope this can be helpful. I always find these interesting because I'm not a big creator and seeing other people who have not a huge channel either being able to achieve these things I find really inspiring and I'm gonna try to be as open and transparent about all my analytics and everything that happened so that hopefully it'll help you guys too so if you don't watch my channel currently a quick recap is that my name is Celine I make lifestyle videos mostly vlogs all about life in my 20s living in Toronto I try to cover different topics that are relevant and realistic to life in my 20s. All that to say, some of my analytics and statistics will be more relevant for this specific niche. I just wanted to get that out of the way as well. YouTube is a passion of mine. It is definitely my side hustle, if you will. Up until I got monetized, I think a lot of you guys can relate, but I wasn't getting paid. So this was just literally a passion project. But now that I have gotten into the partner program, it's really, really exciting. And we're going to talk about exactly how much I made. Let's get into it. We're going to first talk about my channel and the history of my channel. If you go to my page, you'll see that I actually created this channel in 2011. So it's been over a decade, which is actually pretty crazy. And what I've never talked about is I actually did make videos. Sorry, my dog might be distracting in the background. What I've never talked about is the fact that I did make videos. I made arts and crafts videos. I was very passionate about and I actually did grow my channel through arts and crafts videos. The only reasons I'll really share this is two things. So I obviously stopped making videos. Let this be a lesson to everyone. <laughs> I wish I didn't stop. I stopped because I was kind of embarrassed, to be honest. And it's more embarrassing for me now to say that I'm embarrassed because why was I embarrassed? I was just doing what was fun for me and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So that's one thing. And I often think back to what if I just continued posting videos through all those years because I could have probably grown way more than I did. So that's one big tip is keep doing it. Don't stop. Obviously take breaks when you need to, but don't let other people's opinions change what you want to do with your time and if you're passionate about it. And the second part of why I'm sharing this, I did have kind of a head start because I already had met one of the requirements, which is having a thousand subscribers. I don't want to say I cheated because of that because I definitely did put in the work back then, but I did have a start already because I was making videos literally a decade ago. So that's a quick background of when I first started YouTube. I honestly bought a camera in 2018 when I thought about considering to make videos again. Also embarrassingly, I bought that camera and I kept it and I would film things and I would pretend to make videos in 2018. At some point, you just have to rip the bandaid off. I'm glad that I did it and that all led me to where I am right now. When I actually started making videos until getting monetized, I wanted to share some numbers of how long it took me to become eligible and also a quick recap of what the requirements are. I'm not gonna go too in depth on all the technical things, but I will link some resources in the description. But but high level, the things are one, you need 1,000 plus subscribers. You also need either 4,000 watch hours within the last 12 months. The other way is you would have to have a million views within the last 90 days from YouTube shorts. And also shorts watch hours don't count towards your 4,000 watch hours. So those are the two scenarios basically for you to become eligible. I really focused on making videos, but I did have some shorts. So because I already started with over a thousand subscribers, for me, I really just needed to focus on getting my 4,000 watch hours. And from a lot of videos I've seen, that can end up being harder because depending on the length of your video, like how long people are watching your videos for, that can take quite a bit of time. And because it has to be within 12 months, it also can be frustrating. I posted my first video when I was back on YouTube and I'm just looking at some notes, by the way. My first video back on YouTube was January 8th, 2022. This video that I posted is still on my channel. It is all about my weight loss and fitness journey. I've actually 
actually just really wanted to share that story because it was relevant for me and always wanted to share it with people in case it was helpful. So that's what inspired that first video. Since January 8th, 2022, until I was eligible to get monetized, I uploaded 44 videos and 19 YouTube shorts. I tried to upload once a week, but I didn't end up doing that. I only started making YouTube shorts in fall of 2022. And I didn't put a lot of effort into my shorts because it was gonna help me towards my watch time and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get a million views through shorts. So I really focused more on uploading the long videos, but I do know people advocate for shorts. I mean, that just wasn't something I was interested in focusing all my effort into. And then the day that I actually became eligible after those 44 videos and 19 shorts was March 22nd, 2023. So I applied for the YouTube Partner Program last night. Yeah, I checked it last night and it was literally 1 a.m. I'm showing you now on my screen the site to basically show you the steps that I've already did. So the first step is I've agreed to the terms and conditions. Second is to sign up for AdSense, which I already did and I've linked my account. And then the third step now is just to review my channel. So once that decision has been made, which it says it's within a month. It usually doesn't take that long from all the videos that I watch. That's my first step. So, oh my god, I didn't even say. Today is March 22nd. This is four days before my birthday. My birthday is on the 26th and that was like a really big goal of mine to get monetized before my birthday. So March 22nd, saw that I could apply. It shows up on your studio tab. I literally refreshed it a million times, but I actually got accepted literally the next day on March 23rd. So it is really quick turnaround if you have everything set up. I already had my AdSense linked and everything so i would say if you're thinking that you're gonna get accepted soon i would just get that set up so you don't have to do it in the moment so march 23rd i was accepted and that was the day that i was able to start making money from my channel you don't get paid as you're making the revenue you basically have to meet a 100 threshold in order to get paid out and that doesn't get paid out until the next month in the meanwhile there's a couple other steps so you'll also have to add your verification of identification i just took a picture of my driver's license the next step, which is also very exciting, is YouTube will mail you a PIN. That is how they verify your mailing and billing address. I actually had delayed this process for a couple reasons. Like I said, in order for you to get paid out, you have to meet $100. So I just didn't feel like there was a rush because honestly, I didn't expect to make any money in my first month, but we'll get to that in a second. And I was actually out of town and I didn't want to miss getting my PIN and everything. So I didn't request for it to be sent to me until April 5th. April 5th was basically when I was emailed saying that a pin has been sent to you and to look out for it in the mail. Sorry, I forgot to mention, while you're submitting your verification, you'll also need to submit all your tax forms. I was so confused about how to do it. I live in Canada, so obviously our tax system and our tax documents are different, but because YouTube owned by Google is an American company, there's very specific things that you need to do. Definitely encourage you to actually read through what the instructions are. And I actually found a couple of videos that were really helpful. So that all needs to be submitted and then you'll get your pin. So on April 21st, I got my pin. The day has finally come. Your girl got her AdSense verification pin. This is one of the last steps in the process and I basically need to verify my address. So I wanna share with you guys in real time because I'm very, very excited. It is definitely a symbol of progress that I have been waiting for. But anyways, we're gonna go through this next step. It knows that I haven't verified my address yet. There's a prompt. At the very top, it just says your payments are on hold because you need to verify your address. So I'm gonna click action and then I'm gonna open up my pin. So I'm super excited. Remove signed edges first. I'm gonna hang this on my wall. Okay, I'm gonna enter my pin. Yay, we did it, oh my gosh. Now, the most exciting part for me personally, let's get into the numbers, what happened, how much I made in the first month, and what those videos are as well, because I thought that was really, really interesting. So a reminder that I applied on March 22nd, and then I got accepted on March 23rd. So March 23rd, again, the first day that I was actually able to technically make any money. So March 22nd, zero dollars, obviously. First day, I made $2.25. Let me tell you, when I saw that, chills up the spine. If you've been making videos for so long and you've been doing it for free and then to even get a cent from that, I think is something to celebrate. I'll take the $2. $2 I can get something at the dollar store. So that was the first day. And then just to show you guys that basically the progression for the next month from March 23rd all the way to April 23rd. 
This is the progression of every day through the month. So within this period, my top earning day of being monetized was April 23rd, I made $4.59. Within this period, I have uploaded five shorts and four long form videos to YouTube. Now, I think this part is the most interesting. I'm gonna share with you guys my top five performing videos and how much each of them made within my first month. Starting from number five, this was my work vlog, day in the life as a marketing account manager. This was only my third upload on YouTube. It was uploaded February 13th, 2020. 22. So by the time that I got monetized, this video has already been up for quite a while and it managed to make it to my top five earning videos, which I thought was really cool. Within the first month, I made $2.29. I think that's a really cool thing about YouTube compared to other types of social media and monetization is that it genuinely can be passive once you finish uploading a video because I haven't done anything to it. All I really do is check comments and I'll respond to people, but that video is done and it's just pulling in revenue from ads once you get monetized and even though it's only two dollars like hey it's still two dollars so i thought that was really really cool my fourth performing video in terms of revenue was my what i eat in a day video this video i uploaded january 29th 2023 so it was uploaded two months before i became monetized i feel like it is kind of evergreen and evergreen meaning that it doesn't get old it's not specific for a certain time or season this video has continued to perform for me even though it was a couple months old already and within the first month, I made $5.18. My third performing video was my plan with me, how to make a digital planner with good notes. I actually wasn't gonna post this video. I felt like no one was gonna like it because it's not like most of my videos, but I did wanna make something that was searchable. I was already making my planner. So I decided to make a tutorial on that. Very different from my other videos. It earned me $5.62 within this period. And this video was uploaded January 15th, 2023. So also a couple months before I got monetized. The second performing video for me within this month was my Mexico vlog. So our vacation to Cancun. This video was uploaded February 26th, 2023. So just a month before I was accepted to be YouTube partner. I did get quite a few views before that, but for the most part, it's also kind of evergreen in terms of the fact that people probably are still looking for travel vlogs or inspiration if they're going to Mexico. For my first month, this video earned me $11.51. I thought that was a really good video, so I'm glad that it actually performed. My top performing video, I feel like this should not be a surprise if you go to my channel. It is the most popular video on my channel. It is my Sony ZV-1 versus Canon G7X Mark II comparison and review slash unboxing, all the things. The funny thing about this video was I was really hesitant about whether to upload this as well because it's not like most content on my channel. I still wanted to make it relevant to what I do, which is why I call it a vlog camera. And I talk about vlogging because that's what this channel is about. And I have gained a lot of views on it, which is the most viewed video on my channel. Current moment of recording, I have 49,000 views on it. It, so that was really really cool. I was actually considering posting this as a portion of a vlog I would do like my regular vlog and then I just unbox the camera within like a couple minutes of the video That would have not gotten the traction that it did. Ultimately, it's helped a lot of people I think I'm really glad that I made it its own video. So this video was uploaded October 29th 2022. I do think it's another type of evergreen video because as long as people are looking at those two cameras I think it'll continue to be relevant within the first month, I made $50.50 from this video. So that was really exciting for me. And honestly, I owe a lot of my channel success to that video, but it's just so crazy that I honestly thought about not even making it into its own thing. A couple things I wanted to share before I get to my final total, which I will share. <laughs> I wanna talk about my CPM and RPM. So CPM is basically the amount that advertisers will pay per thousand views on a video. This ranges from different genres or niches across YouTube. From what I've heard, certain niches like finance or like health, those types of topics typically get a higher CPM, but it definitely ranges. So I honestly have no benchmark of what other vloggers CPMs are like, but for me, within the first month, my CPM was 858. I've also heard that that definitely fluctuates. That turns into your RPM. So your RPM is actually the revenue that's made because within the $8 that is paid from an advertiser, 
it has to get split up with you as the creator as well as YouTube. So my RPM in this month was actually 369, right? I can't hold it any longer. The grand total I made in my first month of being monetized was $85.05. Did I actually meet the payment threshold? No, but I was actually pretty close. And I think that's really cool. Some people's videos have said that they make three times as much, but some people's videos also say that they made 20 cents. This is meant to be informative and hopefully help you guys if you're in a similar position, but just know that everyone has different CPMs basically, or they vary so much. So it's really hard to predict. I did not predict that I would make $50 from a camera video, but I did. You never know. Within my first month, I also wanted to share how much of my revenue came from what source. The main ways that you can make money is from watch page ads. And then there's also YouTube premium and shorts. And then there's basically like member donations or subscriptions. So if someone has a YouTube subscription that you pay for, then that would count as a source of revenue. I don't have any of those other things right now. So my main three sources are watch page ads, YouTube premium and shorts. Within my first month, I made 20 cents from YouTube shorts. That really goes to show you that you don't make as much money from shorts as you think you can. The way that the fund works is just not the same as a long form video. And then I also made money from YouTube premium. So premium is if someone has a premium membership or subscription, you don't get ads on it, but you do get a share of revenue from the YouTube premium subscription. So I made $1.97 from that. The rest of it was $82.88 and that was watch page ads. So that's basically any pre-roll ads that you see before video plays or anything that comes up in the middle or any banners that come up on the side of my video or below it. So those are all sources of watch page ads. So those numbers that I shared were based off of 30 days of being monetized. But when we actually look at each month, I wanted to also share that breakdown. The first month was obviously March and that wasn't a full month. I only made money starting on March 23rd. Within the last week of March, I ended up making 26.47. April was my first full month of being monetized. In this month, I made $77.24. And then just to show you guys up till technically today, so YouTube actually has a little bit of a delay in showing your revenue, but today is May 4th and I believe it's only reflected up until May 2nd. In May so far, in my first couple days, I've made $5.26. In total, since I've been monetized, I've made a total of $108.96. So I actually met my payment threshold as of the end of April, which means that I will be able to get paid this coming month. And the other thing I haven't done yet, which I wanna talk about is entering my bank information and actually verifying my bank information. I was so confused because I kept watching videos from people and everyone was entering their bank stuff and there was nowhere for me to do that. When I Googled it, it just said that there won't be a requirement for you to enter it until you've met the threshold. So even if I go to my studio tab right now, it says that getting paid set up in progress and there's nothing needed from me right now, that step will come after all of my earnings have been transferred to Google AdSense. As of now, that step hasn't been completed, but I'm really excited because it means that I will be making it because I reached over $100. That was a lot of numbers. I hope that was interesting and informative. I guess just like my closing remarks are it takes time. I definitely felt like it was a very distant goal, especially because like it was watch hours that I really needed to build. And there's things that you can do to try to increase that. But at the end of the day, it can feel so frustrating when how much someone watches your video is completely out of your control. You can influence it and you can make videos that are bingeable and you can do all the things that people tell you to do. But even when you're doing all the things right, sometimes it feels like it's not happening and it just feels like it's taking forever and if you feel that way I hear you <laughs> obviously there's days that I only make a dollar as people always say YouTube is a marathon not a sprint I'm excited to see what happens next I'd love to like keep you guys posted on a few months from now what my revenue looks like and hopefully share some more tips with you guys that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you found this helpful if you liked it make sure to like the video it really supports my channel and don't forget to check out other videos from me on the screen and I'll see you guys next time